Hi Rachel, my name is Craig Gordonier and I am coming to you from my home on the road here in my 1999 Bluebird school bus that I converted last year with the help of my friends and family. After a failed business deal at the very beginning of COVID last year, I ended up at 27 years old, home, on my parents' couch, starting fresh again. I thought about the big picture of what I wanted to do and if the big goal in my golden years at 65 was to get an RV and go see the country, well, why should I wait 40 years to go do that? So I got online, I started looking at sprinter vans and trailered tiny homes and buses, and I finally found the perfect bus that was in South Dakota. I flew out there and I bought the bus. I drove it 28 hours all the way back to Massachusetts so we could get busy on the renovation, and I had this amazing moment pulling in and seeing the look on my parents' faces of me driving this big school bus. And uh, it's just been such an amazing journey since then. So in early May, we began ordering and building this bus the exact way that I wanted to have it. We took this bus from just a hollow, insulated shell, and we've created what you see today. So the first thing you will notice about this school bus is it is not a school bus anymore. We've got the residential door here on the front with a security pad. We've got a large 20 inch roof raise here in the living area. We've got an outdoor outlet there and some beautiful big storage boxes underneath. We've also fitted it with a custom motorcycle deck to allow me to transport my street legal motorcycle. Climbing up to the roof here, we've got the roof deck solar panels and some skylights all right come on in and make yourselves at home welcome aboard the bluebird school bus i want to start here in the front driver's area of the bus i have not touched a single thing up here i wanted to keep this history alive and it's just such a beautiful thing we'll move over here now to show rachel ray my kitchen which is a terrifying statement to be making but here we go nonetheless we've got recycled uh, cabinet bases here on the bottom. We've got slide outs for full range and ease of use. A three burner propane cooktop and oven and a epoxy poured countertop that I made in my grandparents garage. And long throw on the drawers was essential. So these drawers are almost the entire length underneath which maximizes the storage here in this already tiny space. Stainless steel sink here. We've got full running hot water in the bus, courtesy of a 100 gallon fresh water tank back there underneath my bed. A stainless steel fridge and freezer. And on top of the refrigerator, we've got the espresso bar. This is my favorite part of the whole bus. I love my coffee and waking up every morning and getting to look out that windshield out into the woods and make myself a nice cup of coffee. It's just such a special thing to me. This is where I eat and I made this table back in 2011 as my senior project in high school. So it was so special to be able to wheel this out of my childhood home. And now, use it as a dinner table. This is like a very realistic looking white brick. It's a thick raised foam board. So in addition to looking real, it is also very lightweight, which is an absolute win when you're trying to focus on weight savings. We've got the closet here, my shoe rack down at the bottom, and then I have additional storage for my clothes here under the bed in that dresser. The walls in the bedroom are my favorite in the bus. This is a Japanese wood burning technique known as shusugiban, and it just brings the grain of this wood to life. On the wall here, we've got the tankless hot water heater which allows me to monitor my water usage and I can also determine what temperature I want my water to be. We've got our bathroom sink and mirror which is also used uh, for storage and we've also got tons of storage underneath this entire sink here. Moving on to the shower, this is real blue glass shower tile there on the back wall underneath a 14 inch rainfall shower head. And we've got those two big skylights you saw right over the bed and the shower letting in tons of natural light. I'm so glad you all stopped by. I've been so grateful to be able to share this Bluebird home with you. Goodbye. <laughs>